those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Our first video in this playlist is in Inverness, Florida. We spent five nights at Potts Preserve Oak Hammock Campground in the Southwest Florida Water Management District. There is no charge for camping in this area, but you do need to make reservations through their website. We're at Potts Preserve. It's Southwest Florida Water Management District. It's a primitive equestrian camp area. There's a bunch of tents over there. And uh, there's a guy in a um, airstream and some other person with him. But there, there's some more sites back there. We are in this big open area. Somebody was camped right there. Had more solar than we did. So we just camped over here. I don't know, technically maybe not a real spot, but in the full sun so that's good no problem with uh, the sun it got down to into the 30s last night we're gonna leave today we just spent five nights here so that's pretty close to our limits on tanks anyway it's a nice place people hunt here I don't know if the camera's picking up that airboat in the distance but they get pretty close and the price is right free this was our first florida boondocking location with no hookups or dump stations but we really enjoyed camping there the campground had access to non-potable water we brought 20 gallons of extra water with us so that got us through our five days we were sort of worried about the entrance road, but it was not too bad. It was about a mile and a half of Lime Rock Road with some pretty big potholes. It was off the beaten path, but a nice place with good walking on the roads. On the weekends, we heard several airboats having fun in the marsh near the campground. They were pretty loud, but didn't stay too long. There was also active hunting in the area. According to the Southwest Florida Management District website, Swift Mud encompasses roughly 10,000 square miles in all or part of the 16 counties and serves a population of nearly 6 million people. The goal of the district is to meet the water needs of current and future water users while protecting and preserving the water resources within its boundaries. Within these lands, there are recreation activities such as camping, biking, hiking, boating, and much more. It's true what they say about Florida, and it's tough to get into state parks along the coast during the winter months. We talked to some RVers, and they said that this year was not as crowded as last year because of many of the Canadians not traveling to Florida because of COVID-19. We were flexible this year on where we traveled. Joe was wonderful and continued to find us great places to stay that we will share with you in this playlist. We experienced some free camping, state parks, state forests, private campgrounds, and stayed with friends and family. Florida is home for us, so we felt very comfortable traveling around and getting to know more about our home state. We have already started making reservations for 2022 so that we can camp at some of our favorite spots, spots in Florida.
the hiking trails throughout the area were not well manicured, so he stuck to walking on the roads. As you can see, it was a bit wet and the, there was a thick forest. We enjoyed the quiet and private area of this campground. We look forward to sharing more of our RVing experiences during this winter in Florida throughout this playlist. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.